Capricorn. Welcome to your quickie love update. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Capricorn. So please take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. All right, Capricorn, so I've already meditated on your cards. I've already called in the divine for divine assistance. We're going to go ahead and get started. All right, so energy between you and your person. We have everything is fine. Your person's energy, the lovers. Your energy, the high priestess. All right, let's continue here. Six of Wands between the two of you. Your person has the Chariot. And you have the Eight of Pentacles. All right. And we have the Five of Swords between the two of you. Your person has the Page of Wands. And you have the Nine of Cups. All right. All right. So it looks like a uh, Capricorn, you and your person recently went through some type of um, some type of ending, which was, you know, painful for the both of you. But you guys have made it through that energy. Now, this person, they're in an energy of wanting to reconcile with you. All right, I don't see that you are actually sharing that desire. You are actually in an energy of, you know, listening to your instincts at this point and, um, you know, trying to follow your, follow your, um, follow your intuition, follow your gut. All right. Now, your person, they're going to come towards you. They're hoping you know, they're wanting to, you know, have some kind of, um, you know, new way of doing things or new ideas to get things going again with you. And they're hoping to be victorious with this, you know, but I don't see that you, you are, you know, considering it, you know, it's like you want You want love at some point, but the current energy doesn't show that that's where you're at at this point. You're you're one you're trying to, you know, you know, get some type of skill set or, you know, hone your skill sets, but you're you're trying to diligently work on something that's going to bring forth some abundance for you. You know, and that's kind of just where your mind is right now. You're not really you're not really focused on like a love situation, reconciling anything or anything like that. Right now, it's money. Money is what's on your mind, you know, at this given moment. So, you know, it could be that you're returning, you know, to school to get some type of trade, something to that effect, something that's going to positively impact um, your abundance. That's just where your mind is. Okay, and that's what you're focusing on. All right, so in the uh, the very near future here, now your person, again, you know, wanting to start something new here. They, they're wanting to restart something, but I feel like, you know, you're not sharing, you're not sharing that energy. You're like, you don't feel that way. You do. Let me take that back. They want to start something new with you. You, whatever it is that they're talking, you wanted that at some point. But with this five of swords between um, the two of you and those, those energies, I don't think that that's what you want at this point. There's something that happened between the two of you that um, I, 
you, you just don't feel that it would be fulfilling. It's like, you know, you want to be with this person, you want it to stay with them, but anytime that you're with them or every time that you try, you feel like you end up losing. So it's like a catch-22 for you. It's like, you know, you get what you want, but you but you lose. It, it just doesn't. Yeah, it just doesn't. It's a it's like a, a hollow victory. It's like an empty victory dealing with this person. You just feel like you can't advance. You can't you can't progress with this person. Even though, you know, to a certain degree it, it is what you truly want, it's what you truly desire. Messages, please. What does Capricorn need to know for their highest good? What are the messages? What are the messages, please? Pay attention to the red flags. Unrequited love. Free yourself. Yeah. <laughs> It's like you wanted whatever this connection was with this person, you wanted it to work out, but you realize that it never will. Um, there was too many red flags that were cautioning you um, and you just listened to your intuition and you got out of the situation because you realized that there was not enough love between the two of you to keep that thing going. So you, you trust your intuition and you listened you know, with that high priestess that was there, you listened to your intuition and you freed yourself from this connection. What is the advice for Capricorn, please? What is the advice? What does Capricorn need to know for their highest good, please? So we have the well spirit here. We have the hawk spirit. And we have the vulture spirit here. All right. So with the well spirit, trust the great mystery. The hawk spirit, let spirit be your guide. And vulture spirit says nothing is wasted. All right. So this is just the advice that uh, spirit is giving you is saying, you know, you need to just go ahead and, you know, leap out, go out there into the unknown and trust that everything is going to work out in your favor. Trust that spirit is going to guide you. List, continue to listen to your intuition for that inner guide and you'll stay on the right path. All right. No, nothing's wasted. So whatever happened, it needed to happen to push you to where you are or where you're headed. So nothing was wasted. Okay. Whatever, whatever you experience with this person, you needed that. You needed those lessons. You needed that experience, whatever it might have been. Because now it's going to get you, give you that push you needed to propel you, you know, towards movement in the right direction, on the right path. And just trust your intuition and trust your gut. Spirit is going to guide you, you know, and help you maneuver through this maze of life. 
All right, but you have to trust the unknown and trust that it's going to work out for your highest good. Have the faith. Okay, so that's what I have for you, Capricorn. If this resonates with you, uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future readings. Feel free to comment in the comment section. Let me know if this is your story. If it did not resonate with you, try watching your moon and rising sign readings to see if there's any messages there and come back weekly where we do weekly readings. All right, thanks for watching.